Over the past few weeks, I've been learning a few things about anatomy, in particular the anatomy of the human head, and I was trying to learn how to draw them in different angles, and I gotta tell you, pretty tough. However, there are a few things that I've learned, um, a few things that I picked up, and like a few strategies that you can use that I think will be pretty helpful if you're trying to learn how to draw stuff like this also. And, uh, yeah. Let's get started. All right, got Photoshop open, and it doesn't really matter which application you use, just do whatever you want. You can use MS Paint for all I care. And we're just gonna start off with a simple circle. We're just gonna, we're just gonna start off with a simple circle here. Um, trying to get a, a decent looking circle. T -t Today, Junior! Got a decent looking circle here. First try, of course. Stop the cap! And what I learned to do next is um, I draw these little ellipses on the side here. So something like this. It's pretty rough, which is it's fine. Yeah, I just erase the round edges like so. Give this guy a nice line up, right? Then I replace it with some lines that are, are not so curvy because the head isn't shaped like a basketball, right? It's kind of kind of flat on the sides. Next, I draw a horizontal line straight down the middle. Then I draw a vertical line to intersect it. Then I draw the eye line, which is like halfway between this point and that point. So like right about here should do then the nose line is like around this area at the end of this ellipse the bottom of this ellipse i mean then i'm just gonna draw a line straight across like so next on the ellipses i draw a vertical line that intersects with the horizontal line and do the same thing for the other side now i start drawing the jaw so i bring this line down some on both sides of course next i draw a horizontal line that indicates the chin like right here and I just draw lines on both sides that connect the jaw to the chin right here so just like that finally we draw these like little curved lines from this point on the ellipse to the chin so what you should be left with is this samus um mandalorian looking head thingy and what we have here is a head that's looking forward at the camera so what i learned is that if you know where these guidelines are placed like the brow line the eye line and the nose line then it's pretty easy to place them on the head no matter which angle also if you know like how to draw these ellipses as the head turns and where they're positioned that makes it a whole lot easier as well so for example what if i want a head that's like looking up and then to the right but once again i'm just gonna start off a circle and since the head's looking towards the right this ellipse over here is going to be a whole lot more visible so it's going to appear bigger so maybe i draw something like this and since the head's going to be looking up i draw like this line that's like angled upwards and i just draw another line that intersects with it and i just draw a contour line that just wraps around the sphere and i draw another contour line this is going to be the eye line and it's going to wrap around the sphere like this so this is starting to take shape already so next we're going to draw a line like this from this midpoint and just do it downwards like that and i learned that you want to make this line like the same angle as this line over here inside the ellipse so that the face is in proper perspective then i'm gonna draw the chin this way this part of the chin is more visible because the head is turned to the right gotta start forming the chin so i'm gonna drop this line down from the ellipse on the side and just connect it to this part of the chin and same thing for the other side just draw like a curve like this finally we're gonna draw the eye line which is starting right here of course just starting like halfway between this point and that point remember and we're gonna follow this curve and it's gonna wrap around the face like that and same thing for the nose line it's gonna follow these curves and just wrap around the face like that then just draw a curve from this midpoint to the chin and boom so what i learned in the past few weeks is that it's all about understanding these different guidelines like the ellipses um the lines on the face here it's about understanding like where they're positioned and how the head turning will affect them how about another example maybe we had a head that's looking directly to the right well i'm gonna start off with another circle then i'm gonna draw another circle inside of here so the circle is gonna be like about this size and draw a horizontal line straight down the middle and then draw a vertical line straight down the middle i'm gonna continue this horizontal line to represent the the 
brow line and halfway like right here gonna draw the eye line that's just where the nose stops right here next we just draw a line straight down from the eye line so something like that continue this vertical line down some more and i just connect it to the chin right like this and from the side the face is gonna look sort of like this so we got the nose right here and then the mouth is gonna be right here and chin is down here and that goes the same for any head that you draw um mouth is gonna go like right here and chin is gonna start right here it's the top of the chin and essentially you're separating this part of the head into thirds so as you can probably know there are so many different positions that the head can be placed in and this video would take forever to make if i tried to cover all of them and according to my analytics you guys only stay for like about three minutes damn son so um probably not gonna draw all the different heads in different positions so here's a little exercise that i've been doing the past few weeks and you can probably try it out and this should help you because it helped me i'm not you but it it, it might it may help He's, you may want to give it a shot what i did is i just made a new canvas and like um i just did 38 40 by 21 60. then i just got my line tool over here and i just divided this canvas up into like a little grid so it's at some vertical lines like here and there yeah, it's not perfect squares but it's fine and after i draw this grid i just fill it up with a bunch of different heads facing different directions i feel like this exercise really helped me because it challenged me to think about how the different guidelines will look when a head was facing a certain way and by just doing this over and over and over again just filling up these canvases with uh, different heads it provided me a lot of practice and i was able to like i was able to get some pretty decent looking stuff once you're done drawing a head and you move on to the next one you can always just go back and see if you made any mistakes on the previous one and try not to make those same mistakes again and make sure that things like perspective are correct uh, the guidelines are placed in the right position things are the right proportions yada 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 so let's just do a recap so step one take note of the guidelines so you want to take note of the ellipses the lines like the nose line the brow line and the eye line so after you look at those guidelines after you take note of them just think about how those guidelines will be affected as you rotate the head and if it's kind of hard trying to imagine this and it is kind of hard since it may be your first time doing it it was definitely hard for me you can use references and then the third step is to challenge yourself with that exercise i mentioned so once again you're making that little grid right and you're just filling it up with different heads that are rotated in a certain way and just draw them in different angles you can maybe you draw a head that's looking up maybe the one that's looking down to the side diagonally three quarter view it's up to you and i found that following these steps just helped me improve a lot so if you enjoyed the video if you found that helpful found it interesting maybe you may want to consider hitting the like button subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell so you don't miss a single interman classic i got the description for a bunch of fun links and stuff you know with that being said till next time ladies and gentlemen this is interman from interman arts signing off